Welcome to today's in-depth tutorial on the Boost Converter. In this video, we'll delve into the circuitry and inner workings of this widely used DC-DC converter. The Boost Converter is a type of step-up converter that allows us to increase the voltage level of a DC power source efficiently and effectively. A boost converter, also known as a step-up converter, is a type of DC-DC converter used to increase the voltage level from a lower input voltage to a higher output voltage. It is a switching power supply topology that operates based on the principles of inductance and energy storage. The basic components of a boost converter include an inductor, a diode, a switch, typically a transistor, a capacitor, and a load. The input voltage is connected to the inductor and the switch. When the switch is closed, current flows through the inductor and stores energy in its magnetic field. When the switch is opened, the inductor releases the stored energy, creating a higher output voltage across the load. The operation of a boost converter involves two operating states, the on state and the off state. During the on state, the switch is closed, and the inductor stores energy from the input voltage. The diode is reverse biased and blocks the current flow from the inductor to the input source. In the off state, the switch is opened, and the stored energy in the inductor is released. The diode becomes forward biased and allows the current to flow to the output capacitor and the load. By controlling the duty cycle of the switch, the ratio of on time to off time, the output voltage can be regulated. The higher the duty cycle, the higher the output voltage. The boost converter can provide voltage step-up ratios greater than 1, making it useful in applications where a higher voltage level is required, such as in battery-powered devices, LED lighting, and telecommunication systems. It's worth noting that the boost converter is a type of switched-mode power supply, SMPS, which offers high efficiency and the ability to regulate output voltage with relatively low power losses compared to linear regulators. Let's take a closer look at the components and their connections in our simulation. We begin with a plus 5V input connected in series with a 1H inductor. The inductor is a critical component in the boost converter as it stores and transfers energy between different stages of the circuit. Next, we have an N MOSFET, where the drain is connected to the inductor. The MOSFET acts as a switch, turning the current flow through the inductor on and off rapidly. This switching action generates a varying magnetic field within the inductor, which is crucial for the boost conversion process. The gate and source of the MOSFET are connected to a 5V square wave generator. The square wave generator provides the control signal to the MOSFET, determining when it should be turned on and off. By adjusting the duty cycle of the square wave, we can control the average output voltage of the boost converter. To effectively utilize the energy stored in the inductor's magnetic field, we include a diode in parallel with the inductor. This diode ensures that current flows through the inductor and the diode when the MOSFET is off, creating a closed loop for the energy to circulate. It prevents the energy from dissipating and allows us to tap into it for further use. In addition to the diode, we introduce a 10 microfarad capacitor in parallel with the diode. This capacitor plays a vital role in smoothing out the voltage and reducing any ripple present in the circuit. It acts as an energy reservoir, absorbing the energy from the inductor during the MOSFET's off period and delivering it to the load during the on period. To demonstrate the output behavior of the boost converter, we connect a 1K resistor as our load. This resistor represents the device or circuitry that we wish to power with the boosted voltage. It's important to note that the load may vary depending on the specific application of the boost converter. To visualize and monitor the output waveform, we include a scope connected across the load resistor. The scope provides us with real-time information about the voltage waveform and any changes that occur due to the boost conversion process. It allows us to analyze and optimize the performance of the circuit. As we power up the circuit and observe the scope, you'll notice that the voltage across the load resistor rises significantly higher than the input voltage of plus 5V. This voltage boosting is a characteristic feature of the boost converter, making it an excellent choice for applications where higher voltage levels are required. It's important to understand that the boost converter operates in a continuous cycle, repeatedly storing and releasing energy from the inductor. 
The duty cycle of the MOSFET, determined by the square wave generator, influences the output voltage and overall performance of the circuit. By adjusting the duty cycle, we can control the average output voltage to suit our specific requirements. In conclusion, the boost converter is a versatile and efficient DC-DC converter that enables us to step up the voltage level of a DC power source. Through the interplay of the inductor, MOSFET, diode, and capacitor, we can transform a plus 5V input into a higher output voltage. The boost converter is widely used in various applications, including power supplies, battery chargers, and renewable energy systems. I hope this in-depth explanation has provided you with a comprehensive understanding of the boost converter circuit and its operation. By following the flow of energy through the inductor, diode, and capacitor, we can see how the boost converter efficiently converts and transfers power. Remember, as the MOSFET turns on, current flows through the inductor, storing energy in its magnetic field. When the MOSFET turns off, the magnetic field collapses, inducing a voltage across the inductor. The diode allows the energy to circulate in a closed loop, ensuring that it is not wasted. The capacitor plays a crucial role in smoothing out the voltage. During the MOSFET's off period, the capacitor absorbs the energy from the inductor, maintaining a relatively constant output voltage. When the MOSFET turns on again, the capacitor releases its stored energy, supplying it to the load. As you observe the output waveform on the scope, you may notice a small amount of ripple. This ripple is due to the switching action of the MOSFET and the finite capacitance of the capacitor. However, the magnitude of the ripple is generally low, thanks to the capacitor's smoothing effect. It's worth noting that the boost converter operates with high efficiency when properly designed. By carefully selecting the values of the components and optimizing the duty cycle of the MOSFET, we can minimize power losses and maximize the conversion efficiency. The boost converter is widely used in numerous applications where a higher output voltage is required, such as powering electronic devices, driving high-power LEDs, or charging batteries. Its versatility and efficiency make it a popular choice in many fields of electronics and power systems. To summarize, the boost converter is a step-up DC-DC converter that increases the voltage level of a DC power source. Through the interplay of the inductor, MOSFET, diode, and capacitor, it efficiently converts and transfers energy. By adjusting the duty cycle of the MOSFET, we can control the output voltage to match our specific requirements. I hope this detailed explanation has provided you with a thorough understanding of the boost converter and its operation. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more educational content on power electronics and circuit design.